Hi, this is Michael Becker, and in this lesson of Tinderbox, we're going to talk about agents and queries. One of the most fundamental things that you need to know about Tinderbox beyond prototypes and attributes. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, just get started. So I've got an open file Tinderbox, and I'm going to add a few notes. Note one, note two, note three. You know, if you recall from our attributes lesson, we can go ahead in here and uh, add some pro uh, attributes to my notes. So I can say type say start date so I'm adding some attributes to my notes and because I created a new user generated attribute I can do this and now I can say I'll do the same thing for these I can go down to some type start date you know and I can select go ahead and select type start date all right so I've we've got my notes all set up and now I want to go ahead and add some data to them so I'm going to say this one's type is stuff, and uh, this one's type is uh, data 6-1-2020, um, and note 2 is going to be um, say, uh, 9 3 20, uh, 20 and this note is going to be 1-2-2021. Okay, and we're going to have them all be about uh, type stuff, uh, just because I like to have a convention uh, of a type attribute to help me search for and find other notes related things. So we've got all that set up. Now, what do you want to do? You've got a bunch of notes in your Tinderbox file, and now you want to go find them. You want Tinderbox to help you curate and manage that knowledge. So all you need to do is create what's called an agent. So I can go up to Note to Create Agent. I can hit Shift Command A, or I can simply right mouse click on the screen and it pops up an agent. Now I'm gonna name this agent. I'm gonna use the naming convention of lowercase a. It can be anything that you wanna delete and on to, and we'll call it uh, date query, um, just as a convention. And the second I pop away, the agent information dialog box pops up. And so I can go ahead here and simply type. Now, here's the most important thing. A, the way Tinderbox looks for agents or looks for attributes is in how it distinguishes um, an attribute in its code language or code syntax is the use of a dollar sign. So if I type the dollar sign and now I say start date, you'll see that Tinderbox automatically starts looking in its system for attributes that meet the string that I'm starting to type. So I'm going to say start date and there it is, start date. Now what am I searching for? I want to use the operator arguments of less than or equals to because I want to find every date that was before 2020. So if I say less than or equals to now, and I could put a date, I could say, um, yesterday, you know, 1, 1, 2020, um, uh, 2021, or I could simply type the word yesterday. Okay. And so now I've said start date is less than two or equal to yesterday. And then I add a semicolon right here to end my argument. Um, now, and when I'm, as soon as I'm done with that, I just click away and immediately Tinderbox finds in my notes that are in 2020. And so if I click in here, I'm like, note one, hmm, wait a minute. I could have sworn I had uh, two notes, uh, or if not more, uh, related to 2020. Let me go see what's going on. So if I go back and I look at my notes, I'm kind of like, ah, typo. I said 2030, not 2020. So again, one of the beautiful things of Tinderbox is it helps you discover. And as part of the discovering process, you can also help discover where you've made mistakes. So I go ahead here, and if I type 2020, Tinderbox is automatically going to process, and now it's found note 2 immediately. Now, here's the other thing. Now, this is interesting. Now, let's go ahead and create a fourth note, and we're going to call this note, note 4. And let's also give it a start date okay and let's uh, make it start date 12 1 2020 and let's go ahead and click on the inspector and change its color to bright red okay so now i've got another note uh, and it's got a date of 20, 12, 20, 20, 21. And if we pop in here, you'll see that Tinderbox has already automatically found it. The second we created it, Tinderbox found the note because it met the date criteria that we were looking for. So that's basically what actions and agents are all about. So let me add one little piece um, to this lesson and then we can move on and do more advanced action and ag agents later. Let's say I want to edit this query. How do I do that? Hmm. Well, there's a few ways you can go about doing that. You can right mouse click and get the get info. 
and it will bring you to the get info screen you can see where there is an agent here and if you wanted to you could tear this off so now this becomes a uh, window that you could just move around and have open so that you could be editing and, mon and managing your agents um, personally i just like to expose uh, all the time the agent query um, uh, yeah, an attribute um, so that way i can just manage it uh, you know within the within the uh, node itself now I, what i want to do is i want to now tell tinderbox to go find all of the uh, notes that meet the the agent query criteria of start date is less than or equal to yesterday but i also wanted to find notes that are red and so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to say i'm going to get rid of these that semicolon here and type in the next argument an ampersand for and so i want you to go find this and that uh, and so i'm going to go ahead and this and now i want to say and color because remember we want to distinguish all of our attributes uh, by their dollar sign so dollar sign color equals now when you're doing an equality argument in tinderbox you use uh, a double equals and the distinction is here is if you know a single equal like this is saying you know you're essentially testing or applying a value to the item on the left so you're essentially saying is is yesterday less than or equal to um, um, the start date. When I'm actually looking to do an equality argument, I use a double equals. And that, and then, and again, Tinderbox is just a piece of software, so we need to be very precise when we can. And so, this is an a, a um, operational argument, whereas this is an uh, double equals is an equality argument. Believe me, it will make sense. Um, and yeah, as you get deeper into it. So now, if I say color equals, I'll type the word red, and then I'll end my argument by with a semicolon. I click away and I want to now go in. Why didn't that work? Um, that's e weird. I just said color red and okay, let me take a look. What, what, what actually is the color attribute? So if I go in here and I type the word color, and I see, ah, the actual direct pattern is bright red. So if I go in here and I go to my attribute and I change red to bright red, Yo, uh, we're now telling Tinderbox, go find all of the notes that were before yesterday and the color equals bright red. So now if we go in here, there it is, the one note that equals bright red. Now, that is the way to be able to do searches and queries and find stuff in Tinderbox. And again, this is just the first of what will be many lessons around how to use um, the, this powerful, powerful agent query export syntax coding language um, of Tinderbox. But hopefully now you can get started um, finding stuff within your Tinderbox file. Oh, and before I forget, one more thing. Remember, uh, there is this wonderful um, uh, resource that's been developed by another fellow Tinderbox member, our, uh, Mark Anderson. Uh, and he's just yet another uh, community member just like me who's a volunteering uh, uh, to produce uh, materials to help help us all learn and use Tinderbox. Uh, it's called the Tinderbox Reference File. And you'll see here, uh, you can get to it at acrobatfaq.com um, slash atbref8index.html. So, uh, and I'll put that in the comments of the notes. Now, if you go to the re reference file, you'll see a, a link up here called Action Codes. This is what we're all talking about when we do agents and queries. And here are all of the different action syntaxes that you can use uh, within Tinderbox to search and find stuff. Uh, and if you think about right here, here is the less than or equal to argument that we just used in our uh, first uh, Tinderbox action code. And you can come in here and learn about that. Um, so there's just so many types of arguments and interactions that you can do and use with Tinderbox. It's truly amazing. Um, so make sure you, uh, you know, get full use of uh, the uh, Tinderbox reference file as well.